um, the challenge. You know, I think a lot of people have us, you know, projected out of the playoffs. I mean, that's, ain't no way to start off the season better, you know. Um, you know, it's a motivation for everybody to get together at a training camp and, and go hard um, just to prove people wrong. I mean, it's, it's fun proving people wrong. The, my first go around here, you know, I was asked to lead at, at a very young age. And, um, you know, it, it, I wasn't as comfortable. Now this time I'm like, okay, I know how to lead. You know, it's, it's kind of like second nature to me. And, um, you know, that just comes with experience. You know, it comes with all the, the teams that I played on under the good coaches that I played for. So, you know, it's, it's going to be easy this, this year. Last time I was here, I didn't really, I, I really couldn't shoot the ball as, as, as well as I can now. Um, that's something that I kind of, you know, try to perfect. Um, it's my three-point shooting, my outside shooting. Um, you know, I was more of a driver, you know, had quickness. Um, you know, di this year, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm more comfortable and confident in shooting the ball. Yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. I think I'm the second oldest pacer on the team. I didn't realize it until somebody told me that yesterday. I told my wife about it. She was like, no way. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's just crazy how things change, um, you know, but we have a bright future. You know, Miles Turner and Victor, they're going to do some good things here for a very long time. And, you know, my job is just to try to make it easy for them, trying to give them, you know, whatever knowledge I have to them and um, just try to take the load off of them. I, I think so. You know, anytime you give away, you know, your premier player, Paul George, you know, and you add new players and you ask Miles to, to be the franchise now, it's, it's kind of a retooling reset. But, you know, now Miles knows it's his team. You know, it's whatever his personality is going to rub off on the team. And, you know, we have a lot of young guys that are willing to take on that role too, like Victor himself. So, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how the year goes, but I think they're going to be fine. You know, it's going to take some time. I think um, anytime you put, you know, guys together, you know, from the start, it's going to take some time. Um, you know, you just can't put a bunch of new guys and expect for us to gel right away. You know, it might take us all the way until, what, uh, November, December to kind of hit our strides. But, you know, we just got to stay with the process. Don't get too high and high, not too long or low. And just continue to work. Darren, you're coming from the Western Conference. What do you uh, think about all the, all the impacts? I'm happy that I'm out. <laughs> What's that? I said I'm happy that I'm out the West. I know that much. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's crazy. Um, I, I just remember every night last year was a battle. And, um, I think we was touching like eight C towards the deadline before we had traded the Marcus. Um, this year it's a little bit more breathing room, um, so to speak. Um, it's it's kind of wide open towards the bottom of the East. It's still top heavy at the East, you know, um, Boston, Cleveland, all those things are still really good, but I still think we have a shot, you know, we have more of a shot in this conference than we would in the West because of the talent. How about defensively? You talked about how your offense has changed and uh, your shot's gotten better. Right. Defensively, where are you at from where you were five years ago? Oh, I was quicker like five years ago. Uh, I, had, I had my speed at a, at a high level. Um, this year, I just I just had the IQ. You know, I know I know where to be at at all times, the right spots. You know, I know to use my voice. I know how important it is to be vocal out there on the court. So defense, defensively, from an IQ perspective, you know, I'm going to be in the right spot at the right time, and you you won't see no you know lack of so to speak a lack of defense on my behalf because I understand that wins games. So um, in order for us to be a good defensive team, everybody has to play their part one through five. Corey is a is a is a good guard that can push the ball. I can push the ball too. Um, um, he can kind of get into the paint as well. Um, you know, I can play off him. I get into the paint. You know, he can play off me. Um, we we kind of understand each other because we played similar roles in the past. You know, playing a backup and and starting that time. So you know, I think it's gonna be fun playing with Corey. You know, he has a good head on his shoulders. I'm, he has a ring for San Antonio, so he definitely knows what it takes to win. So you know, that's a guy that you know. We're going to be all looking forward to playing with. You know, it should be fun. Lance is definitely mature in my eyes since I've been here um, playing with him. I think, um, you know, I think Lance is going to have a good year. You know, he's been focused all summer long. He's been here probably longer than anybody other with the exception of Miles, you know, ready from the start. And I think Miles, I mean, uh, Lance is going to prove to people, you know, why he belongs, you know, here. And I think Larry understands why he needs to be here too as well. We always talk about he should he should have never left. You know, this is a team that he feels comfortable with. Um, he, he seems to play well at a high level. Um, he played great last year, and I'm only expecting big things out of him. Were you out in LA most most of the summer? I saw you uh, play a pickup game with Vic and LeBron and all. Yeah, the... yeah, like UCLA. UCLA. Yeah, that's where you spent most of the off season. Yeah, I, I spent there at UCLA and then Sacramento. I was there, so mm. both a little happy. What were those games like? Those pl playing with LeBron was very interesting. You know, I, I I never got a chance to play on his team, but you know, just 
playing with him and just seeing how he makes the game easy um, and learning from him. You know, we got a chance to talk and he, he kind of like, you know, gave me some pointers on the game. It, it was fun playing with him. I think um, it's, it's, a, it's a heck of an experience for anybody, any player. You know, you're talking about one of the greatest players of all times, you know, to have that opportunity, even if it's a pickup game, and just to see what he sees the game, it's, it's a fun experience. Did you and Vic hang out at all or meet for lunch or anything while you were out there? We was, we was pretty much, you know, at UCLA, you mm -hmm. know, pretty much well, quite a bit. Um, we didn't necessarily hang out as much as we wanted to, um, but, you know, we played some pickup games together. We talked. You know, I, I've been knowing Vic, you know, last year. You know, I ran to him a couple times. And, you know, I, one thing I respect about Vic, extremely humble kid. You know, he, his humility is through this roof. So I'm excited to play with this dude.